Oh. Ah, not again. Boy, am I bad at this game. I really should stop playing, but what to do other than sit inside and play, playing some PlayStation when the weather dictates your hobby? But still, it doesn't feel right. I should get rid of it. Welcome back to another video. Today I want to show you on how you can use your maybe old or still in use game controller, in my case a PlayStation 4 DualShock controller, to control your EQ5 Pro mount. It is not that difficult. Um, if you have a PlayStation controller like me, you have to do some steps more. If you have an Xbox controller, you can skip some steps along the way. I hope you have a lot of fun with this video and let's see how it works. Using a game controller to control your mount is a very convenient way to slew your scope over the sky. With these clumsy controls in Nina and in EQ mod, it is rather difficult to control your mount. You either have to go in and outside uh, or you have a, maybe a laptop in your hand that can easily fall down. So maybe the gamepad to the rescue? Let's see. You can easily connect any game controller to the computer via a USB cable that has worked instantly and you could skip the next steps. but. Wouldn't it be nice connecting your controller not via a cable but via Bluetooth so that you can control your scope remotely? Because I have a PlayStation controller which is not natively working on Windows, I need to install some drivers in the program called DS4 Windows. This will emulate an Xbox controller that will then be working much better on Windows. So go ahead to their page and install the necessary drivers and the software. All links can be found down there in the descriptions. And while you're down there, feel free to press the thumbs up button if you liked this video and it was really helpful for you. And if you want to see more of my videos, press the subscribe button. The first thing we need to do is to connect the controller with the mini PC via Bluetooth. You need to press the share and the PlayStation button to put the controller into pairing mode. It will be similar on Xbox controller. Go to your Bluetooth settings and in there you choose your game controller. After it is connected you should be good to go. When you have your DS4 Windows up and running it should recognize your controller and probably a blue color should appear on the back of your DS4 controller. If not that doesn't mean it is not connected, it just means that DS4 Windows is not yet emulating the controller. In that case try hitting the start and stop button again. Then we should be able to use the trackpad on the controller. Well done, now comes the fun part. We are going to connect our game controller with the Eco mod, and after that, we can use this to shoot down these pesky aliens with our flag cannon dots outside. I mean, we can use our scope, of course, to watch stars. Start up EQ mod and push this button here to open up the setting. When you have this first running in my controller, has been connected, you should see some buttons bindings already populated. Make a calibration for your different axes. Don't forget about these trigger buttons on the back. As soon as you are ready, you can press the done button down below. Let's do a test run. Hmm, not moving at all. But don't you worry, you have done everything right. It's just that the slow rate is not at our speed that we want to have to see the scope um, running. So you have to press these shoulder buttons to increase the speed. 
and then you can see that the slewing rate and the inclination axis is going up. And if you do the same on the other shoulder button here, you will see that the slewing rate on the right ascension button will go up too. If you try to move your scope now, and you will see that it's still not working, but this is because the scope has just parked after you have changed the slewing rate. This is because if you are um, accidentally touching one of these buttons, you don't want the scope to slew around uh, just like that. So uh, you can unscope, uh, you can unpark your scope, of course, with the unpark button, but you can also use this triangle button up here that I have mapped in the menu. So I'm going to press this button now. The scope is unparked, and let's see if it works. Perfect. You can see now outside the scope now moving on the declination axis, and after that. Let's try it on the right ascension axis and you can see that both axes are working and the, screw, the, the scope is slewing around the sky with the gamepad. Isn't that nice? It's a really neat way to use these pesky controllers that get so often smashed against the walls. Hey! 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 Better do something useful with it. With the press on the X button, you can wiggle your scope around to search in an area for a star that you want to focus on or you need to align with. Or you press the Y button to park or unpark your scope. The gamepad is also very handy to use inside Stellarium. Just slew your scope around the sky and you can see where you go to and you can even use it to align your scope. Well, I hope I could show you on how easy it is to install this gamepad and to control your mount outside where you're sitting here or even when you're outside. I still have to see if I have a real advantage because of that, but I think it is a really cool way to get your scope into a certain position if you want to maybe auto focus on a or if you want to focus on a bright star that you have sometimes problem finding and then if you are standing outside and you're doing it with your naked eye rough estimating where the star is and if you have this controller here that gets much easier in my opinion if you liked this video and it was helpful for you press the thumbs up button and if you want to subscribe to my channel, feel free to do that too. If you have any comments down below, let me know if you've, what you think about it, if you have done it already, or if you have any other tips that I could use or others. So thank you very much for watching today and um, clear skies, of course. I'm going outside and shoot some of these pesky aliens that are outside with my flag cannon. I mean, let's go.